so it's Friday afternoon. I just got done work. I'm up in the shoe swap. And uh, since wife is away this weekend, I think I might do a little uh, a little day camping on my way home at a little campground we know. Well, we were actually there last weekend, but I thought I would check it out and um, yeah, just have a nice little campfire and, and just chillax a bit. So let's go do that. this for a sight. Backed in here. Check that out. <laughs> so good. Ah, oh, look at this view. That's crazy. Oh, right on. Look at this fire pit though. How tall is that? There's no way you could even cook on this. <gasps> Someone left me wood. Oh, and a cutting block. Huh. Looks like I'm just gonna settle on in here. And a crucial step to any party: the hammock. Let's go get this thing set up. I like literally just filmed a whole montage of me setting that up, but the camera is looking that way. So at least I can film myself setting my bug net up and putting the puffle on. So that'll be fun. Roll the time lapse. set up now let's go set up the inside so we got camping pillow we got the top puffle thank you to everyone who helped me win that and headlamp And we got wife's bottom puffle, which is rated to Where is it? minus six point six Celsius. So as Bear Grill says, you want the warmer insulation under you. Because it's two's under, one's over. We're gonna have a minus six under. Let's stick that on the panic. So this is my current situation. I'm in with my puffle. And uh, got my water there. Got my jacket in case I need it. And I got my other puffle, or my wife's puffle, below me. So this one is rated to like, I don't know, 10 degrees Celsius or something. Um, but I can really feel the warmth from the one below me. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's like, I don't know, it's almost like sleeping on a heating pad. It's ridiculous. So this is still kind of low, but there's nothing I can really do with that. 
it helped a little bit, but it's still it's still hitting me in the head. But it's okay. I can make it work. This thing is the Sierra Madre camping pillow. So it's got a blow up bladder in it and then a little soft, oops, like a soft little pillow part, like a little pad on the top of it. So it gives you some support, but it's also pretty comfy. So this is me all snug up in my hammock. Allegedly, I could go down to about zero degrees, I think, tonight. But I'm not going to go down to zero degrees or even 10 degrees or even be tonight. This is just to chill next to the lake. Enjoy some time. Maybe read a book, listen to some music, and just enjoy some time literally hanging out. Get out of here. Jeez. All right. We are out of the hammock. I know, that was my first mistake. But we are going to start a fire. We'll get this big bad boy going. But first of all, we need to have some water on hand. I'm going to go down to the lake here and fill this up so I have some water to put the campfire out with. All right, it got pretty dark in a hurry, so I'm gonna quickly split some wood and get this fire going. All right, let's uh, put on some wood here. Bear Grylls knife. Handling going here, and we can uh, get our fire rolling. Just like that. Thank you, Bear Girls. All right, so I don't have any paper with me, but we're going to use these feather sticks that I created. It's just shaving little shavings into small pieces of wood, and uh, we're going to see if. We can use this to start a fire. It's really dry wood, so I'm pretty sure this is going to work. And I really overdid it on the on the kindling here. So we're going to stack it up good, and hopefully she lights. Let's give it a try. All right, so the lighter sucks, and I only found two napkins in the truck. And uh, so I have no paper, no lighter, so we're going to try some matches here. Hope to God it works. Hope it works. Hope it works. There we go. <laughs> and the match went out. Oh, come on. Let's get this nice and lit. Or it'll just go out. What the hell's going on here? Ah. So that paper won't light. What the hell? Come on now. Okay. These are all the matches I have left. I have four matches. Odds of this actually working tonight, slim to none. Something better light. Hey, 
And I just got a face flash and I'm lightheaded. <laughs> Come on, do it. Well, she's going. She is going. Now let's stack her up. Make sure this stays going. Yeah, there we go. That'll go. Well, it's awkward. But it's definitely on fire. So that's all that matters. Boom. Well, that's turned into a real rip snorter. It's slow motion time. Fire's going nice and strong. A little bit of firewood left to burn. It's uh, what time is it here? 7.56. It's having some Doritos. Oh, ketchup Doritos. So good. Oh, yeah. Oh, fire's starting to get a little smoky. Some more wood on her. Try this one handed. See how this works. Which way are we going? We're going that way. Alright. One. Two. Oh son of a gun, hey. That's hot. Three. Oh, Man. Okay. Are you going for a rescue mission? It's gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt you. Oh, boom. We got fire again. All right, the fire's getting down again. Let's go for our last three sticks here. One handed again, but I got the glove this time, so you know, this should go a little better. Well, let's actually stir this up a little bit. Woo! I'll do one, two, three. Just like that. Oh, this is always such a sad time of the night, and the last little flick of fire goes out. And you're left with nothing but coals, but oh, is that ever warm? Well, let's go get all packed up and head on home. So I forgot there was a meteor shower tonight. So instead of packing up, I decided to climb in the hammock here, get my puffle on, and uh, stare at the stars for a little bit to see if I can uh, see something. So. It's starting to get really chilly out, and the wind isn't helping things, but we're going to see what we can see. And also, i got a really small patch of sky that I can uh, see through the forest, but we're here. We're warm. We're going to see how long this lasts, so if we can see one. <laughs> well, it's 10.32. It's finally gotten cold enough that uh, I think I'm ready to pack it in. This uh, setup's not too bad. I don't much. I think it's probably like five degrees right now, and uh, I'd say probably about down to ten degrees. This would uh, this would be comfortable if you wanted to sleep in it overnight. But I'm not sure I'd really want to here in bear country. Check my fire. That is definitely out. But I'll pour some water on it here in a quick sec pack up the hammock and then I'm heading home today was a fun day stoked I did this
All right, we are all packed up. Got that all put out. There's a whole bunch of extra wood here that uh, someone left me on. Oh, a poking stick. Look at that thing. Could I use that? Hammock's all down. The interesting thing though is this is where I had my hammock set up. And I've been here since like 4, 4.30 today. Never really left. But at some point, while I was at camp, someone came here and peed. So I had some kind of visitor. Interesting. Well, at least I wasn't alone. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this is fun. This was a whole lot of fun.